Hello and welcome to TD's Pokemon Lair. I'm TD and this is The Lair. Today we're unboxing a box of 10 Pokemon cards I sent to PSA over a year ago. Got them back in this box, professionally packaged for safety. Let me get them out of the box and we'll see what grades we got. Let's go! We have a 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Electrode, a first edition, the number 34 card of the set. Looking at the front of this card, you can see the graphics are bright and clean. There's no creases or bends on the card. On the surface of this card, looking at our center from left to right, to me, I think it's slightly towards the left. Looking at this top to bottom centering, I think that's pretty close to the tolerance. Our corners and edges are free of damage. That would affect a grade. As we take a gander at the back of the card, you can see that our centering from left to right, I think, is close to the tolerance. Our centering from top to bottom could be within the tolerance also. Our corners and our edges look pretty clean. There might be some slight damage on the upper left corner, but it's hard to see. Looking at our surface, there's no creases or bends or any damage to the graphics. And that's going to get us a good grade of Jim Mint 10. Wow, that's better than I thought I'd get. Check out this 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Flareon, a first edition, the number 35 card. The front graphics of this card are very vibrant and bright. Our surface is free of creases and bends. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think it's slightly towards the left. And our centering from top to bottom looks slightly towards the top. Our corners and our edges are clean and crisp with no damage. Take a look at the back of the card and we'll start with the surface. It's free and clear of any creases and bends and any problems on the graphics. Our centering from top to bottom is quite a bit towards the top. And our centering from left to right um, looks a little slightly towards the left. Our corners and our edges, um, there might be some slight damage on those two left corners, um, but it all looks pretty good. And let's see what grade we got. Mint 9, that's a good grade for this old card. We are looking at a 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Gloom, a first edition, the number 36 card. Looking at the front graphics that are clean and crisp, there's no dirt or damage to them. Our surface is free of creases and bends. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think it's a little bit towards the left. Our centering from top to bottom is slightly towards the top. Our corners and our edges look very clean. I don't see any damage on them. As we turn the card over and take a look at the back, you can see that our centering towards the, is towards the top. And our centering from left to right, I think it's slightly towards the right. But it's really close to the tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, I think there's some slight damage on the two right corners, but overall the card looks really good. And they're going to give us a grade of Mint 9. I like it. I like it like that. Let me show you this 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Gold Duck, a first edition, the number 37 card. I like the graphics on this card. I like the, the picture. Um, the surface is free of creases and bends. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think it's a little bit towards the left. Our centering from top to bottom is a little bit towards the top. Our corners and our edges are free of damage and look really good. Flip the card over. I look at the back of the card and we'll start with the centering from top to bottom. It's towards the top. Our centering from left to right is slightly towards the right. Looking at our surface, there's no creases or bends or any damage to the graphics. Looking at our corners and our edges, there's some slight damage down that right side and on that lower right corner. And they'll give us a grade of Mint 9. That's pretty good for that card. You gotta check out this 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Kadabra, a first edition, the number 39 card. The graphics are very vibrant and bright on this card. The surface is free of creases and bends. Looking at our center from top to bottom, I think it's slightly towards the bottom, but I might be within tolerance. Looking at our centering from side to side, I think that's within the tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, they're very crisp with no damage. Looking at the back of the card, we'll keep on with the centering and we'll look at it side to side. That looks within tolerance. Our top to bottom centering might be towards the bottom, but that still also might be within tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, they're very clean. I don't see any problems there and our service is free of the creases and bends or any problems on the graphics. This is an awesome looking card. And that's going to give us a grade of Gem Mint 10. Awesome. A 23 year old card got a 10. Here is a 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Machoke, a first edition, the number 40 card. The graphics are 
clean and crisp. There's no issues on them. There's no creases or bends on the surface of this card. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think it's really close to the tolerance or within. Our centering from top to bottom is slightly towards the bottom. Um, looking at our corners and our edges, they're very clean with no damage. Flipping the card over and looking at the back of the surface, there's no creases or bends or any damage to the graphics. Looking at our centering from left to right, it's definitely towards the left. And our centering from top to bottom looks really close to the tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, they're very clean. I don't see any damage on them. And they'll give us a grade of mint 9. That's all because of centering. Let us look at this 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Muck or Mook. Uh, first edition, the number 41 card. Looking at Dark Muck here, you can see that uh, it's very clean. There's no problems on the graphics or surface of the card or like creases or bends. Our centering from top to bottom is definitely towards the bottom a little bit. Our centering from left to right looks a little bit towards the left. And our corners and our edges are clean and free of damage. Let's look at the back and you can see that our centering problems continue from top to bottom. It's towards the bottom. The left to right, I think it's towards the left. Looking at our corners and our edges, they look pretty clean with no damage. And our surface is also free of damage with no creases or bend. And we're going to get a grade of mint 9 for dark muck. I like it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. This card is a 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Persian, a first edition, the number 42 card. The graphics are very clear and crisp on this card. There's no creases or bends on the surface. Our centering from left to right, I think it's slightly towards the left. Our centering from top to bottom is definitely towards the bottom a little bit. Our corners and our edges are free of damage and look really good. Let's look at the back and you can see that our centering from top to bottom is towards the bottom a little bit. Our centering from left to right looks a little bit towards the left. Our corners and our edges look really clean with no damage. As Also with our surface of our card, there's no creases, bends, dirt, grime, or anything, or any problems on the graphic. And now to get this grade of Mint 9, that's pretty darn good. Let's look at this 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark Rapidash, a first edition, the number 44 card. Looking at this card, you can see the graphics are vibrant and bright. There's no problems on them. Looking at our surface, it's free of creases and bends. Our centering from top to bottom, I think is slightly towards the bottom, possibly within the tolerance though. Looking at our centering from left to right, to me it's slightly towards the right, but that's probably within tolerance. And our corners and edges look free of damage. Flipping the card over and looking at the back, our surface is free of creases and bends and the graphics look bright and clean. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, I think it's slightly towards the bottom. Our left to right centering, I think, is slightly towards the left, but probably within the tolerance. Looking at our corners and edges, I think they're pretty clean, but they're, I think they're pretty clean and it'll pass. And we're going to get a grade of Jim Mint 10. That's a surprise. I didn't expect that one. Wow. We are looking at a 2000 Pokemon Team Rocket Dark War Turtle, a first edition, the number 46 card. Looking at the front graphics, they're very bright. There's no issues there. There's no scratches, bends, or creases on the surface of the card. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think that's within the tolerance. Maybe slightly towards the left. But our centering from top to bottom looks within the tolerance. And our corners and our edges are very clean with no damage. Looking at the back of the card, our surface is free of creases, bends, scratches, or any damage to the graphics. Our centering from left to right, I think, is slightly towards the left. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, um, those look within the tolerance. Our corners and edges are crisp with no damage and are nice. And that's going to get us grade of Jim Mint 10. I'm surprised. I thought that centering on the back would take us out of that grade. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the cards that I showed you. Please like and subscribe. And remember, you got to catch them all. Have a great day.